Hey, what's up, guys? This is Unveiled Eyes. Um, I'm commenting over some Naruto Storm 3 casuals. That's me on the left. Uh, I got broken. Yeah, oh, right. Wow. Me and my directions. No, so I'm on the right, and um, we have uh, Seven Greeter on the left side. Um, so, I guess what I'm kind of doing here is that uh, another channel of ours, or not really channel of ours, but a fellow channel of ours, uh, Blind Gabriel 102. He made a video about, I guess, in a sense, what is it to be blind? And so, I heard this, and I guess I kind of, you know, we all have our own interpretations, and we're gonna watch Kakashi get a shit pushed in right here. But um, so uh, here, you know, basically, I kind of wanted to, I give give my own take on the video. Um, and I guess, you know, like I should also point out the fact that, you know. He's also a gaming channel, so if you guys are interested in seeing any other content, you know, go check them out. Always got to give them that their support. Um, but I guess for him, I look at, I've actually met this guy in person, so I know, you know, his his side is better than mine. You know, he mentioned things like, uh, you know, playing on like Halo and, you know, things like that. And I, I've made the joke a couple times, blind people, you guys, we should not have guns. It, it's not a smart thing unless we have like some telekinetic power or, or chakra over here. It's ironic that I say that, you know, Kakashi awakens that there Mangekyo shine gun. But um Yep, there's me dying. Um <laughs> But okay, so basically what I was getting to the point of is like I guess growing up I was never bullied as a blind person and blind is a very relative term. Like we use the words uh high and low partial, which is to some degree what uh he will be considered um, more so than me. I actually am playing this game with my good left eye. That's about it. Um, don't really have much vision on my left. Um, if you were asking me to read any of the text that's there, I kind of couldn't do it. Um, and I can only focus on like if the characters are moving. And I'm saying that like he's obviously chosen this character. You know, you see, kind of it takes me a little longer to uh, find the guy I'm looking for. You know, those kind of things. I can see the giant verses in the screen, but don't ask me to read any of that text. That's not going to happen. Um, I mean, I guess when you talk about, like, going online, um, people are, they murder you online, regardless of what games you play. Uh, you know, I think they, it's just something you have to be, like, really good at to um, get a grasp of. Yeah, I actually do pretty well in this fight right here. Um, you know, it's more like knowing the controls. And if, for a blind person in general, a lot of things come into, like, memorization. Like, if you know your environment or if you know uh, how this and that works, you know, it's more like getting a grasp of it. And you're never going to have it the first time unless you're like, I, I don't even know. It just doesn't work that way. So every new environment, at least to me, is somewhat of a challenge. And you just kind of have to remember, okay, well, hey, I was trained here and here. Um, but I'm going to make this quick and be like, you know. Growing up, I was never really bullied for my blindness. Um, you know, I and there's a difference here. Is like also, I, I wanted to mention something is, um, you know, one of the stereotypes is you're gonna kind of see blind people walking around with canes. Um, you know, canes are an optional thing. Um, you know, it, it's a choice to have a cane, unless, in my opinion, there's a point where your eyes are kind of, yeah, that you just need one. It's like if you if your vision is that bad, you kind of just need a cane to get you around, because you're gonna regret it. Um, yeah, I could have sworn, did, ah, I could have sworn I had won that fight now, nah, okay, well, maybe not, uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I get some victories in here somewhere, this is gonna be like, no, um, so, canes are kind of an essential thing, uh, just to like, quote unquote, probe the area that you're around, <laughs> oh my god, I got Creeper laughing at me in the background over here, um, but, I think it's necessary, just like a lot of things are like personal choices, um, you know, it's an interesting concept, um, but it's really just about what you want out of your life, and like, if you're willing to be um, independent, then it will just kind of happen, um, I mean, obviously, there are training places for uh, the blind, that's actually where I met 102, um, you know, we actually went up to Colorado a couple of years ago, and we had our own little training time, you know, and we gained them their personal skills to make it in the real world. Uh, still can't cook for shit, but that's okay, because I have, you know, shitty college food to eat until the time that I graduate from here. But, um, you know, there's, there's just, like, the idea of being independent, and if you're willing to seek it out, I mean, definitely when I went to Colorado, learned a lot of things, um... 
just like about how people are and what stages of independence they're at in their lives um that really varies um and it just depends on like how you want to be treated too that's a big part of it and you just kind of have to make the effort but a lot of people you don't really know that it's there so you don't really make the effort or if you haven't um if you haven't been exposed to some things you know then you you won't really know i mean like my college life it's about experiences in my opinion like i think colorado kind of opened my eyes to the idea that you know this is going to be an experience and so things you know you kind of see the change here um or at least well you know when you go to college or if you do something big in your life you know i feel like everybody has that like quote unquote eye opening event it's funny because of the conversation we're having here but um we have we have those events where uh you know we have a big change in our lives and that's what kind of makes us you know want to grow and that doesn't really have anything to do with whether you're uh sighted or not or you know i'm about to kick this guy's ass over here so you know this is it's just a matter of um knowing what you're dealing with i guess and that's easier said than done it's it, but i think anything is about exposure i don't really know i don't take an emotional approach to being blind because if i honestly like say that ooh, ultimate youtube um i say that if uh no one had told me about any of this and I just really wouldn't know how um, it was there like if I had never been told hey this is how other people see or the story of how I was you know not really born blind but just like a, an accident honestly I have the same this is gonna be like so I don't even know how what word I'm gonna use here but like it's like playing the car but like I kind of have the same uh, disability Steve Wonder has like the actual occurrence of it and everything I mean if you guys look that up like it's legitly there on a Wikipedia page that actually didn't tell a lie this time um how many how close are we into this is it, are we like, like oh i have six minutes okay so <clears throat> um it's called retinopathy of prematurity and basically what happened with this was that um i was born and then i was born premature and so what happens is that they forgot to uh like, while giving me oxygen, they didn't know that the oxygen could be, like, a damaging effect to your eyes. So, they were kind of screwed. And there's this, you know, thing in your eye called your retina that lets you see light. And then, basically, if you get those detached, they have to go in and reattach them. Well, there's, like, scars left over. And I will always be scarred by Cowboy Naruto. That, that will never go away. Um, but, <clears throat> uh, pretty much, scars left over from the whole procedure... And I actually lose this fight, but I did discover that Kabuto does have an L1 R1 Jutsu when he's awakened. Um, but uh, pretty much the scars uh, left behind scar tissue, which is sort of like we don't want to touch the tissue now because it could be dangerous. It could make me lose more sight than what I already have. And so it's just kind of like my vision's pretty stable with my left eye. Um, hmm. Gosh, you know, see, now I'm, like, trying to struggle for things to say, because it's been, like, all the way into this. Um, I grew up, if, if I, I guess if I noticed, or if I, if there was bullying going on around me, I just didn't notice it. Um, I don't really identify with that when someone tells me that, and I don't really identify with the struggle either. Like, I know some people, they have a real struggle to gain their independence, and my mom was just, like, okay with it. I mean, that's just kind of how it was, because he was like, well it's not like he wants to do this and there's no way for him to you know people were coming to our house and telling me okay well there's a way for you to do this and this and so you know i never had uh that's the, no, i guess i live like i live like a nerd that is one thing i'll say um <clears throat> i never got into sports even though there is this really cool sport that you guys should look up it's called goalball and it actually takes a lot of agility for being blind it, it's an interesting little concept but um so there's that and pretty much uh gonna have to start wrapping this up now i'm pretty sure this next one's gonna be like the last fight um <clears throat> pretty much i mean i just wasn't um i got into music and stuff and that was what kind of kept me going and you know obviously like i said i still have some vision so i definitely got into anime and things like that Ooh, that's an interesting topic since we're on it and i'll make it quick um i don't read manga or uh subbed anime simply just because i'm not able to three minutes all right Oop, three minutes okay okay i'm trying to cut this down now so <clears throat> yes um <laughs> now i'm like really trying to find the words to close this thing off um so yeah i don't really read subs um that comes to anything subtitles are my enemy 
I've definitely become a more vocal person and I'm vocal when it comes to people and just like takes me a while to memorize faces and things like that. Um, but it's not a struggle. I mean, if you ever ask anybody, like that's one thing I tell if okay, for, since I'm wrapping up on this, I don't want people to immediately meet me out here on the streets or whatever or at my campus and judge me, you know, or not judge me, but th- not really know what to expect from me. Like when you meet anyone with a disability, at first, if they're unless they're milking their disability, which does happen, like you know, the one thing I have to say is treat them like regular people. Um, don't make any assumptions because you just don't really know. There's like so many different varying like levels of blindness. You know, like I talk about high partial, you know, you know, one or two uses the term blind. Um, he actually has a decent amount of vision for, you know, but he's still, you know, under the category of being considered impaired. Oh, this is actually a pretty close fight. I remember this. Um, so, you know, that kind of thing. But I, if I ever wanted to get out a message to the public, I definitely say that, you know, you should treat that person as if they are your equal. You know, don't make any preconceptions until you honestly know them. If you see them like milking their disability, then it's just like, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't talk to this person. Maybe, you know, or maybe I should explain, hey, you're kind of milking this thing. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I'd say regardless, until you actually have a uh, information for yourself, because, you know, if you don't know what to expect, if it's your first time meeting someone like that, Make the assumption that they're a normal person, and as far as helping them, just kind of let them dictate what they need and what they don't. That's the easiest way I'd say for it. Um, Cause no, and don't feel like oh you're gonna be offended if you help, cause that's just really not, or they're you're, they're gonna be offended. Excuse me, if if you help them out, that's just not really what's gonna go down most times. I've never met a blind person who's honestly offended unless they're going through that phase of you know having sight and maybe losing it and wanting to be independent. But um pretty much treat them like normal people that's the biggest message I, i'm kind of making this kind of redundant because i know my time's kind of you know clicking down i'm just kind of waiting for this fight to end at this point but um that's pretty much all i have to say um stay tuned i will say that yeah you know it's not all i have to say i have another like announcement type video that will be coming out very soon um and it has some like r- major importance and this one the next video that i see here you know if you want to share this one like you know like comment and subscribe with, with you know your friends online that's cool um but i have another video coming up pretty soon which i would love for you guys to share on any like social media site because i'm really trying to get the word out about this next topic um well there goes the music kage kicking my ass so unveiled eyes out <laughs>